I can't remember how I originally found my favorite Etika reaction, but I've watched it so many times and shown it to so many people at this point that I wish I'd just filmed my own reaction to originally watching Etika's reaction. It's a live stream clip of Etika playing Persona 5 for the first time and hearing the song Last Surprise. I won't risk a copyright strike by playing the song, but I recommend you try to find the clip that I'm gonna be playing right now with audio. I'll try to link it down in the description. Persona 5 has a great soundtrack. It's so good that even though you can't hear it, you can actually see the moment where the music is so good, it actually distracts Etika. You can see him blink, and suddenly he couldn't care less about what's happening in the game, and he's entirely focused on the music. When the chorus hits, he literally says, oh no, out loud. The music is so good, he is concerned. He calls it dangerous. You can even see his concern gradually start to resemble frustration with how good the song is. And he's right, it's a great song. And now, every time I hear this great song, I think of Etika's reaction to it. When the chorus hits, I think to myself, ooh, that is dangerous. And this whole experience was actually quite dangerous for me because it pushed me into a genre of YouTube videos that I had previously considered to be complete trash, reaction videos. Around the time the Fine Brothers started posting people react videos on YouTube, others started creating entire channels that were entirely dedicated to posting videos of themselves experiencing things. More often than not, other YouTube videos. A lot of people, myself included, considered this to be the absolute peak of laziness in terms of content creation. As more often than not, these reactors would also post the thing they were reacting to, effectively re-uploading the content that they didn't make. I can say that personally, as an animator, it can be extraordinarily frustrating watching someone's work get re-uploaded with just the slightest adjustments and end up getting more views than the original. But there's something so fascinating to me about being able to witness a person's physical, emotional reaction to content that I love. I started by watching more reactions to music and songs, but it gradually changed into watching people experience moments from movies and TV shows too. It felt weirdly voyeuristic at first. I didn't know these people at all, but I was spending time watching them have these personal reactions to media and art that I can say firsthand can leave a big impact on people. It wasn't until I started finding reaction compilations, and I don't mean like videos edited together of people reacting to stuff. I mean like literally syncing up reactions so that people were all reacting to the same moments at the same time. It created this sort of crowd of reactions, and that was when I started to recognize why these videos were so appealing to me. It's the same reason we like going to the movie theaters, or why someone would go to a sport live to enjoy it with a crowd of people. There's just a visceral, biological thrill to seeing another human being experiencing the same joy that you are. There's a kind of catharsis that happens when you see someone cry at the same moment that you did. When you see someone get excited when they hear the drop happen and Phil Collins in the air tonight, you get excited because it reminds you of when that moment was fresh. It makes you reflect on how that experience changed you. I, I think about how my life would be different if I was only just now hearing this song. And don't even get me started on how it feels to see a complete stranger upload a reaction to something that you made. <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking gold! The name Etika brings up a lot of feelings now. I didn't watch him regularly, but after that Persona 5 video, I would check on him occasionally to see him react to different kinds of media. I really appreciate that a lot of people have dedicated themselves to making sure Etika's reactions and other content stays online after his channel went down. I still watch that particular video every now and then. It still makes me smile, and it marks a change in how I saw the internet. I usually see this place as a sea of words and opinions, but there are faces and feelings behind those words. There are people on the other side of that computer. And I can't think of a more human way to remember those people than by how they reacted to the world. Rest in peace, Etika. And have a good evening, Netscape Navigators.